Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And the goal of my YouTube channel is to promote home cooking in such a way so that it can become part of your daily routines. I have developed a cooking system that I call it the fast cooking system that is practical, efficient, creative, and fun. In fact, it should take no more than 30 minutes uh, to cook a meal from start to finish. In fact, in my video, I would like to show you how you can make cooking as efficient as possible, also to have a lot of fun. Instead of using recipes, you will use templates, which provide you with the foundation that you can use to make modifications and adjustments to create many variations of the basic template. This video is the demonstration of the application of template-based cooking. In this video, I'm going to show you how I cook a kale cranberry fried rice, a fried rice that I have never cooked before, but it is out of necessity. In the refrigerator, I found a bag of kale pecan cranberry salad kit. It got stuck in the corner of the refrigerator and I forgot about it and it has been there for about a couple of weeks. Since it has been sitting in the refrigerator for a little while, I decided the best way to use it is not to eat it as a solid, but add it to a fried rice. After all, uh, fried rice is famous for being a catch-all dishes, uh, allow you to use up leftovers. I like both kale as well as cranberry, so I think this will be a good way to make a fried rice. Uh, in addition to use the kale, uh, I'm also going to add some Chinese sausages. I love Chinese sausages and recently I start to add them to fried rice and they turn out really well. Chinese sausages are now available online so you can easily uh, get some and give it a try. After I slice the Chinese sausages, uh, I also cut them into small chunks so they will fit better into the fried rice. I don't use very much, probably about half of a cup, uh, mainly to serve as a condiment to provide flavor for the fried rice. Another reason that I make fried rice this evening is because I have some leftover rice that I would like to use up. And of course, you should only make fried rice by using leftover rice. And the next thing I need is some eggs. I season the egg with seasoning agents from my masala daba. Uh, you can use whatever seasoning that you like, just salt and pepper will be good. And, and then I beat up the eggs. Okay, now I'm ready to cook. I cooked this dish in my Cucina 14 inch stainless steel wok. Uh, after I heat up the wok, I add 2 tablespoons of canola oil. I'm going to season the wok with my spa seasoning method uh, to create a non-stick cook surface. Uh, this method is very simple, particularly for seasoning a stainless steel wok. Uh, you can take a look at this video uh, to learn more about this method. I start with the burner set to the highest setting uh, to heat up the oil until it starts to smoke gently. Uh, and then I turn off the stove or turn it to low and uh, allow the oil to smoke for another 15 seconds. And this is the time is when the wok being seasoned. I then turn the heat back to high and now I am ready to cook. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to fry some eggs. And you will find that if the wok is well seasoned, the egg should not stick to the surface of the wok at all. And this is exactly what happened. You notice that uh, the egg start to bubble almost immediately, which means that the oil is very hot. I used the wok spatula to push the egg from the outside to the center of the wok. As you notice that the egg do not stick to the wok at all. Uh, this method is very efficient for cooking egg. Uh, for this amount of egg, it usually takes only about a, a minute to cook the egg. And uh, next, I'm going to lightly scramble the egg uh, because I want the egg to in a relatively large pieces so I can have a better taste of the flavor of the egg. Uh, this is followed by adding about uh, two cups of cooked rice. 
And this rice has been in the refrigerator for about a week. Therefore, they are quite hot. Uh, I'm going to use something called a hamburger meat chopper to break up the rice. This is an extremely useful and valuable tool to have for making fried rice. And the best way to pick up the rice is to start from the outer edge of the rice. The rice I use here is regular long grain rice. The best rice to use for making fried rice is those rice that do not contain a lot of moisture. Uh, this makes to fry the fried rice much easier. Also, it has less tendency for the rice to stick to the bottom of the wok. A rice with a lot of moisture uh, have much greater likelihood to stick and burn to the bottom surface of the wok. This is important at this point for you to regulate the heat of your stove. Uh, you don't want it to be too hot because you are not stir-frying the content at this point, so it has much greater tendency for the food ingredient to stay in one place and get burned. So I usually turn the heat down to low or medium-low uh, until I'm ready to stir-fry the content, then I turn the heat back up again. And by now the rice is pretty much broken up, so I switch to my wok spatula to stir-fry the content. And next, I'm going to add the Chinese sausages to the wok. The Chinese sausages are not cooked, so they need to be cooked in order for them to be consumed. And cutting them up into small pieces, not only they will fit better with the fried rice, but it also will make them cook faster. But the next step in cooking the fried rice is just simply stir fry them uh, to evaporate as much moisture as possible from the rice. Since I'm actively stir-frying the content, I turn the heat setting of the burner back to high again. You can substitute the Chinese sausages with other food ingredients. Quite often, I simply use hot dogs. Or I will use chunks of ham. There are many different types of food ingredients that you could use in a fried rice. The only requirement is that make sure that they do not require a long time to cook, or they are already cooked. Again, also you do not want to add any ingredients that contain a lot of moisture, because that will make the fried rice taste soggy and mushy. Here I uh, use my hamburger meat chopper to break up the fried rice a little bit more. Uh, the ideal fried rice for most people is that the rice kernels are distinct and separate from each other. Uh, because the nature of the rice that I use in starting making the fried rice, uh, my fried rice would turn out slightly different each time. And that's something I'm fine with it, and it makes my uh, meal more interesting. I continue to stir fry the contents in the wok uh, to make sure that the rice is reasonably dry as well as the sausage uh, are cooked. After about one to two minutes, I think I'm ready to add the uh, kale salad mix. I add the entire bag of salad, uh, including the cranberry, and together it's about seven ounces. Uh, this salad contains a mixture of about six to seven different vegetables. Uh, they are all cut up to the right size, uh, perfect for uh, making a fried rice. I stir fry the content for about two minutes to soften the texture of the vegetables. And by cooking the vegetables for a different amount of time, I can control their texture. If I want them to be crispier, I will stir them less. In this case, two minutes seems to be just about right. I season the fried rice with my basic seasoning mix, uh, which is a seasoning mix that I put together, uh, mainly uh, to enhance the natural flavor of the food ingredients. Uh, you can take a look at this video to learn more about what I have put into this seasoning mix. With a few more stir in mixing up the content, uh, the fried rice is done. And now I am transferring the fried rice to a serving plate. And the total cook time of this fried rice is approximately 10 minutes. And this is a relatively large portion of fried rice. It definitely will be enough for four people as a dinner. 
as in our case, it is cooked for two person, and I have a couple uh, lunch left over for the next day. Uh, this fried rice is designed uh, to be a whole meal uh, with both protein, carbohydrate, and plant fibers. Uh, this video is a demonstration of my fast cooking system. The word fast stands for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. The goal of this cooking system is to combine these four attributes to make home cooking practical, efficient, fun, and creative rather than like a chore. I post a video each day to demonstrate how I use my fast cooking system to make home cooking as my daily routines. This allows me to cook my meal from scratch, but it also a lot of fun and it is very creative. If you'd like to learn more about my home cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.